Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to yet another episode of Trading Card Charles. And it's been a while since I've uploaded, but I didn't have any product that you guys would have been interested in clicking on until now. What is this? Shining Fates? These things go for a lot of money uh, from resellers there. Uh, but guess what? We got one of the three foil cards featuring, uh, you know, shiny uh, Eldergoss V, Bulltown V, or the Cramorant V, which uh, we went with Mr. Cromorant, Cromorant, Cramorant, words, he's a, he's a bird, uh, he's shiny, right, so normally he is blue variant uh, today, let me get that, uh, there we go, today he's actually, uh, he's orange, okay, so this is what the old Shining Fates and, uh, you know, Hidden Fates was all about there, uh, speaking of Hidden Fates, let me put this down for one second here, I was able to pull the Charizard GX, just show you guys here a little bit of it there. Uh, I still haven't got it graded or anything. I probably should considering, let me get that screen going again there, uh, considering this thing does resell for a lot more. I would probably still hold on to it unless I pulled a secondary one, but it looks to be like, I would say an 8.5 uh, on the best, um, unless the guy that's grading it on the other end is blind. I could maybe go for a 10 in that case, but uh, I didn't see any specs on it either as well when I first checked it. I just don't want to... Uh, you know, get it damaged any more than it possibly already is. So yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to open up the, the Cremorant V. All the other ones that I did end up pre-ordering uh, didn't come through yet, so I still have to wait on those. So until then, I will have to have you guys indulge in just one product at a time by the looks of it. So what we're trying to do is pull Charizard's uh, cousin, shiny cousin. So what do we got here? We got the tin. I don't want to take it out of view here. There we go. We have, let's see if the packaging, yes, they have the beautiful packaging on the back of these ones where you don't actually have to bend the card to get it out. So what we got, we got a code for you guys, upside, uh, inside, uh, there you go. I hope uh, that's a great card for everybody. Or one person, I guess. I can't uh, give that to everybody there. Uh, so yeah, the Cramorant V, that is a beautiful looking shiny there. I'm going to sleeve that up. Uh, so today's episode is sponsored by, looks like Hoopa. Um, Hoopa sleeves for your cards. Get that Cramorant hollow there. Not hollow, full art. Brains broken. And we have packs. I believe there's six in this here. One, two, three, four, five, six, six packs. We don't need the tin. Get rid of all that. What do we want to start off at? We got the Charizard here. One Charizard. We're going to leave that one for last. And we are going to go with the Corviknight. I don't know why. So, there we go. Okay, so we got the Shining Fates. First pack I'm ever going to be opening here. So it looks like the Corviknight. Um, so I don't have any doubles already. So that's the nice thing about opening a fresh new set that you've never opened. You don't have to worry about getting duplicates right off the bat. Sorry again for all of this here. It's probably all the stuff in the background that's kind of, you know, taken over. So one, two, three, I think it's four to the front. If I'm mistaken, oh, yeah, no, we're good. So we have the fighting type energy. I'm going to tap the screen one more time there. Okay, we have Dartrix. Ball guy. Normal. Cramorant. We got Cacnea. Horsey. Kufint, Chutal, Yanma, Frostmoth is our holographic, our reverse words, and our ending card is a Yan Mega there. So I'm just going to set that aside just because I do collect those as well. Next pack, what do we got? Uh, let's go with the Dragapult. There's other, obviously, uh, product that's coming out there. I do have a Dragapult. Um, what was the tin call? I think it's like a power box or whatnot there coming there. I think it retails for about $60 Canadian. But I think that comes out late March, early April. So we got Rotom, Rusted Sword, Floatzel, Nicket, Eevee, Glossophir, Chutal again, Morpeko, stealing what seems to be some berries. Spinarak and Manaphy. All right, so two packs down out of four, and we had duds. Let's go with a Toxic Tree. 
All right. Code. Clear code. That's good that time. One, two, three, four to the front. And we are saying, oh, here it is. We're getting Charizard in this pack. We got Fire type. Now, this is one of my favorite cards, not the card itself, Pokemon, sorry, Thwacky, I think. He is the most adorable, lovable-looking monkey man. What else we got? Gramorant. Rotom. Horsey. Snom park, <laughs> on a park bench, just chilling. Uh, more Pekko. Cacnea. Chewtle. Okay. Uh, not the Charizard I was kind of saying it was, but we have a holographic there in the Arillaboom VMAX. And then a holographic uh, Decidueye. So I'm going to put down the uh, Decidueye. I can't talk. Uh, I'm going to put the Arillaboom VMAX there. Shiny. Goes well with my Thwacky love there. I'm going to go with this guy as well here. Right, I believe this is fourth pack magic. Grass type, Thwacky again, Rusted Sword, a Rotom, Morpeko, Eevee, Glossifer, Yanma, Snom, a Butzel. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We'll always take when it's uh, you know. A legendary, mythical, whatever you want to say. All right, second last pack here. So we haven't got the the best of holes out of six six packs so far, but we did get one V Max there in a shiny. One, two, three, four to the front. I'm surprised. Oh, is that four? Yes. I'm surprised I haven't not pulled a single, just little baby shiny as you want to call them. Uh, gym trainer. We got Team Yell Towel. Luxio, Cacnea, Glossifer, Snom, Trap Inch, Nickit. Oh, baby boy, look at that. Okay. And, oh, sh yo. Okay. Okay. I could. Uh, yeah. Okay. We got dad and mom. Uh, we got, uh, we got our diddle V. Uh, shiny boy, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna sleeve that up with our hoopa sleeve, and you're gonna go right beside Cramrot V there, and then I'm going to snig and sleeve this Ditto V Max, just normal, not shiny, as you can tell. I'm gonna put him right there. And I'm gonna leave a gap because I know there's gonna be something going in that that little that area there. Obviously, you can't see it very clearly, but. Uh, we're going to fill it up, and then I'll just show you guys at the end what we got there. So, last pack. Code. Cards. One, two, three, four. I'm learning. We got electric type energy. We got the rusted sword. We got an elder goss for the first time today. We got Dartrix. Spinarak. Cufint. Glossifler. Snom. Ooh, coughing for the first time, just shit in his pants. Okay, first baby shiny, can't be mad, Duraludin, what's on the end? Ladies and gentlemen, a more Peko V that I didn't have as well. Uh, so, wow, okay, so I'm liking this. So first pack, we pull a Rillaboom V Max. That's good. Actually, not the first, whatever. And then we have the Ditto Double, and now we also have this Double. I cannot complain. I think this was, like, honestly with taxes, like a $50 bundle. So I can't get mad at that because you're already getting the Cramorant V shiny as well. And then we got the more Peko V there. So we're just gonna go through this again here. More Peko V there in your normal V card. We got the Ditto V Max there. The Dura London baby shiny. We have the Ditto V. Honestly, that is, Oh, it's just a smile, too, when you kind of just tilt it. Like, ah, that is actually terrifying with the eyes as well, too. Um, probably one of my favorite things now in life is that. Then we have the Arillaboom VMAX Shiny. That one in there is the 106 out of 122, so not to the very end. But then also we got the Cremorant V, which was a guarantee in the box. But again, only way to buy that is to get that tin. Uh, we did miss out on the... 
I think it was a bullhound and then also the elder goss but um where i did get to pre-order these you can only do one per person so can't be too mad hopefully i find it somewhere else and i can actually do a video on those as well and see which kind of you know tins are showing off to be a better tin there obviously i know it's all at random luck but still it's nice to kind of just make a video on that kind of stuff so again everybody thanks for watching and until next time this has been trading card charles stay perfect <laughs>